Hi, this is Dan Martin with Swing the Pro. One of the coolest things about owning a pro is you're going to learn what you really actually swing in golf. Most people think that you're supposed to swing the club head. Now true, the club head travels and runs into the ball, but that's where all of our problems start as golfers. When you try to move the club head, it is very difficult to discipline your brain to actually swing it. It's much easier to use your hands and create leverage to move the club. So anytime you try to create leverage against the club, instead of it swinging and creating speed effortlessly and naturally, you're having to use force. Now, can you hit a golf ball doing that? Absolutely. Anybody can learn to hit a golf ball holding it tight and really pushing leverage against the shaft, whether it be to kind of flick it through or try to shove it into the ball, we can all do that. But it takes a constant force to override and keep the golf club doing what it needs to do. So if you're super strong, you probably can hit it reasonably far. But there's a reason why people that maybe aren't so tall of stature that can actually bomb a ball is that they learn the technique of swinging. And what they're really swinging is not the club head, but they're swinging what's called the center of mass of the club. Now the center of mass when the club is by itself is right at the balance point. When you actually put your hands on the club, your hands are part of the golf club and the center of mass is much closer to your hands. So if you could imagine the whole balance point. And so the complexity as we go is so much easier to feel like I can move that club head at any given point in time, but that's what causes all errors. And it can, you can do it early and cause things like over the top or dropping the club under, or it can be very late where you just kind of flick at the ball but any pressure against the shaft to try to accelerate the club head is swinging the club, not swinging the center of mass. Now, how do I know how to swing the center of mass? Well, the, golf, the pro teaches you how to do this. If the pro maintains alignment for the entire swing, you are disciplining yourself to swing the center of mass and allow momentum to transfer naturally so the weight runs into the ball. And so let me demonstrate. If I'm not swinging the center of mass of the club, I'll start to form an angle at any point in time in my swing between the grip and the rope. So I have to learn how to hold this super light and move in a direction where it straightens out. As I learn how to make that motion, I start to learn what it's like to actually swing the center of mass. So if, you know, for all practical purposes, my torso is moving my arms and my arms are swinging my hands. It's like throwing. It's not like using leverage or like a fly swatter, okay? So if my components are straight, then I've got it. Now my next thing is I gotta learn once I can get it straight, can I learn how to run it in and direct that momentum so it collides with the golf ball and sends it where I want to? Again, another complicated uh, signal that we experience as golfers is the impulse to hit the ball. Causes our hands to wanna push the shaft. If I push the shaft, I'm not swinging anymore. So I have to practice successful swings and get to the idea that, okay, I swing and I let it run into the ball as opposed to trying to muscle it. If I try to force it, I can hit it, but if we watch that slowly, I bent that thing like this. So I have, I, I have, a, I have a, a kind of a fail safe here as a practice. I know I'm swinging when everything's in a line. And so as I learn to do that slowly, I can start to get the speed up and then I start to feel things in my swing, like how my body weight moves to create more, more of a natural energy. So again, the most, the most valuable thing you learn from swinging your pro is you really learn how to swing. This is the difference between average golfers and professional golfers. Professional golfers swing their hands in the center of mass of the club, and they learn to sense the club head and run it in, whereas average golfers are always trying to force the club in, and that's why they make more mistakes. Now, it's easier said than done, of course, because professional golfers miss. Well, when they miss, they put the wrong force on the golf club at the wrong time, okay? So again, get yourself a pro, and if you learn, if you learn the dynamics of how to swing the pro and keep it straight all the way through, and then learn how to run that in there, you've now got the model and the understanding of what it's like to swing a golf club, the next part is, is learning how to swing your club in such a way that you can feel those same dynamics. And when you feel it, the club feels lighter and faster. It doesn't feel heavy and clunky because I'm not putting leverage on it. All right, hope you guys find that beneficial. And if you have any more questions, you can visit swingthepro.com.